pretty sure it only takes about, what, four arrows, right? One, two, three, four. And welcome back to Ark. Today, yeah. So we got... Alrighty, guys, and welcome back to Ark, where today we will be taming up the Maywing. So yeah, this is actually going to be a fairly easy one. Um... There are a ton of Maywings on the map already. Uh, a bunch of 150s, especially. I've noticed that about Genesis Part 2, especially. Uh, mostly, like, watch. Any creature I click on, watch. We're going to have a bunch of 150s. See? 150s. Uh, Quetzals. Watch. Uh, probably a bad one, but... Like, ooh, I didn't even realize that there's an R variant of the Quetzal. Uh, R Acros. Watch. There's probably at least 150. 145. Brackies. Of course, on the larger creatures, yeah, maybe 150s are going to be rarer. Equus. Watch. We'll have what? No. Okay. Okay. Hold up. Is it just like... Alright, some creatures. This is just being a bad example now because I'm trying to show it to you guys. But yeah. Anyways, uh, where are the Maywings? So, we're going to search Maywings. And as usual, we're just going to go for the life. The one with the highest life. For, not age. With the highest life. So, you're 130, and you have, we'll go check this one. I want to go check out this 135. I want to see what points it has. Maybe, I don't know, maybe if we just, like, go for, like, the points and then breed them together next time around for Arc, like, Ascended. I'm just trying to think of ways. Do, do, do. Let's give you five pieces of fuel, like last time. We'll increase your weight. Oh, let's get you a thousand. I want you to have a thousand. Yeah, that was essentially all that I had. But left control, and we're in fighter jet mode. So I know I did say I was gonna go and like get grenades, so that way we can test this out. But I didn't. Also, where am I heading? I'm heading there. Yeah. Also, I wanted to do this in first person because it just looks so cool and feels awesome. I ain't gonna lie. It just looks and feels good feels right but we got to this may wing pretty quick so this guy is definitely our get around this map and control okay um we should, we should be pretty safe here i don't see i didn't see anything on approach you have 37 in your health oh my okay so there was another one that was a 150 that was really close behind you oh my god oh why is there okay it's a bug never mind and then there's that let's go see what this <coughs> ah damn something went in my throat let's go see what this uh may wing looks like with its points I'm guessing it's probably like a 35 or maybe a 34, but like that guy's a 37. He's on the list. I will check a 35 onto the list, especially if they already nearly have 40 points. Man, I'm actually like flying around this map. Like, especially here on the Eden side, there's so many like water pools and waterfalls I could have built at. It's like just, yeah, I'm, I'm realizing it. So. Hopefully when Arc Ascending comes out, when you finally get to Genesis Part 2, ooh, I will build a castle there. I can build a tech fortress there. But I could do a lot of things. But, like, we're running out of time here. We got, what, 10 days from now? It's the 20th as I'm recording. The, 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 I can't talk today. I don't know what's going on with me. And I got a new mic as well. So I hope you guys can, like, hear me, like, smoothly and better. Because it's just, yeah... The other one, I still have it. It just started to sound so uh, robotic. And you could hear me clicking my keyboard. Now you guys can't even hear that anymore. So, ugh, let's not spaz out in the main wing. Um, One thing I am concerned about for Ark Survival Ascended, especially with Genesis Part 2 here, lag. I'm lagging hard. Especially when it rains. Okay, here is our main wing. That is a nice looking bracky. 
Um, we also have Halloween colors on, so hopefully we get some of them with Halloween colors. What are you? Yeah, I was right. You're about a 34. But you also have a 27 in your melee. Now, that also means that there's a small chance that, that could also just get me a 40 in melee. So... No, let's try you, because you're the you're the highest 150 in health. If you do not roll the way I need you to, I will go and get the 135. So, let's begin the tranking for the Maywing. Yeah. I forgot my basic kibble, so before I forget, I will not untrack you. I need to head over here. Uh, I left Shell over here, right? Crush? No, he's over here. Where'd I leave the damn turtle? Where the hell even am I? Okay, hold up. I know where Crush is. He's on the other side of this mountain range here. That... That one that was back there threw me off. He should be in here somewhere. Right? Right? Yep, yep. There we go. Boom. And you go for it, Astro. Just land near Crush, I guess. Now I need basic kibble. Basic, basic, basic. Let's... Yeah, let's split off 60. Just so that way if I, like, die... I don't lose all the kibble. Because all this gear I have on me, as you may notice, it's I'm not even bringing Ascendant gear over with me. Like, after that major loss with the Master Controller, like, the timer ran out, and it just destroyed everything. And then it didn't give me my weapons back. Because usually, it, I like, I should have my own bag there from when I died. It didn't give me a bag from my body. So I lost all my shotguns, all my tech armor, everything, so... Although, you know what we could do? Maywings are one of the only creatures in the g game that produce eggs that can be used in every single kibble recipe. Now, mind you, that doesn't mean every egg is usable. It means that they have a chance of laying, say, an ascendant egg, or an ex like an extraordinary egg, you know, ones that are equivalent to the kibble, you know, and you can use that for the kibble. So I could try making a farm for that. But I'm pretty sure we just get a load of basic kibbles. Um, I'm hoping that your stomach has starved up a bit here. Let's see if this just instantanes you. Uh, one more. Two more. Are you gonna? Do you got room for two more? You don't. Oh, you should be fine. So it looks like it's gonna take three kibble. Where did the astro? Oh my god! You follow. These things wander. They they just have a mind like. Of course, they're space dolphin. They're probably the smartest creature I own. Uh, but yeah, they just wander. And here's our Maywing. Okay, let's see how you rolled. That's the extra Delphus. I thought, oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, I would 100% just keep you there and go for a stamina one now. I just now have to find a 150 on the map with stamina. That's actually incredible. Oh, yes. Also need to go get another cryopod. You rolled actually like perfect for me, buddy. Now I legit just need one with stamina. And no, oh, wait, are you guys? Oh yeah, you guys are breedable. Um, May wings are like the snails, where I'll get two eggs at a time. Oh, he ate four pieces of kibble. Okay. Um. Now, where would the next Maywing be? Okay, well, let's go with level. Now, I'd say our best options for the ones that would... Like, see these two up here? I will say... Uh, let's, you know, let's go see this one. Let, you know, let's work our way down. Maybe we kill the ones we don't need. I mean, that is an option. We got our tech rifle with us. I imagine these guys could get lit up and drop. What are you looking like? You my platypus buddy. Uh, 
you're a bad one. Well. Maybe if I lock onto the May Wing. This May Wing's actually like a really good flyer. There we go, got him. Next May Wing on the hit list would be you. You are on my shit list. Where are you? All right, looks like you're over here. So what I'm gonna do here is essentially this: just go hunt down all the May Wings now, um, until I find one that has stamina, and I will kill all the other high level ones so that way there's room for more high level ones to spawn in. Um, I was hoping like I could see you immediately. Where are you? Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where's this Maywing? It's like it's in the wall. Am I missing something here? Is there a way in there? I'm like not seeing. Is this a doorway? Oh, it is. I don't think... Is it that? How? I'm gonna go with this Maywing is out of the map. So. You're him. You're also him. Let's go for. You're the next one with health. Let's go with this one then. This one might be me worth checking out. Okay, so I found a Maywing finally that has. 30 in its, well, stamina. But, as you may see, its surroundings. There is also a T-Rex around here somewhere. I lost track of it, but he is here. Uh, where actually did the T-Rex go? There he is. He's on the mountain fighting with some other guys. Now, <clears throat> I gotta get the Maywing... Go somewhere safe, if possible. So I think the way I've got to do that is we don't net it. I, I'm just, like, debating this because, like, look at all that. There's serratos everywhere. Like, this area is just dangerous. Acros over there fighting mammoths. I mean... I got one option, and it's not a fun one. Okay. You run, buddy. Run somewhere safe. Um, how safe? I mean, I think... In terms of actually getting him somewhere where he's not going to die immediately. I, I mean, this tops the charts. As long as he doesn't go. I'll do it here. I have to do it here. May as well. Shit. Tech Rifle is awesome. You uh, are not unconscious. Now you are. Okay. What we're going to do here is simple. We're going to kill this guy without causing any splash damage to the Maywing. Like so. Maywing, are you at 100? I, I, I'm like afraid to like go in this guy's inventory. Especially after like not checking behind me. That was the goddamn Astrocetus. You? Here's the thing. If I whistle him, he's going to go fly off somewhere. Then I'm going to get ambushed by an acro. You get to leave there. Then you come here. I need you to help me stay where the Maywing will be safe from me watching it. And from any acros. Okay. I, I just want, like, aerial view. 
Like this guy. He's gonna die. He's dead. That was a level 100. So, uh, yeah. I think best thing to do is probably just sit here. Pull him up on this where he's already eaten a piece. What is going on down there? I I'm not the only one that just saw that, right? Like, what was that? No, like, what was that? Was that like... Huh? I'm not... What was that? I'm a little confused now. Uh, can you, like, just hurry up and eat your last two pieces so that way we can go and completely forget about the scary tech effect that we just saw? Now, there is also a chance that this one does not roll with 40 in the stamina like I would like. Um, so, that means we have to probably go find another Maywing if he doesn't. Oh, can you please, 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 please end up with what I need? Okay. He's done. Let's see what we got. I knew the stamina was going to be bad. Okay, guys. So, I'm pretty sure I have found my Maywing. This guy had 35 in his stamina. Now, he did just get bit by a raptor and booked it. Um, I think he is finally done booking it. It appears so. This is also probably the, one of the goodest... The goodest. That's not even a word. It's probably one of the best place to do this at the moment. I mean, it looks pretty safe here. So. Pretty sure it only takes about, what, four arrows, right? One. Two. Three. Four. Now, taming food, and voila. What is your efficiency at? 100%. Nice, nice, nice. Now, Baywings will basically eat anything. They're omnivores. Uh, but their favorites are prime meat, mutton, and then, of course, basic kibble. Those are That's their favorites. They'll get the most progress out of those. Otherwise, the other ones will slowly but surely, you'll have, like, zero, like, efficiency, though. So... Luckily, for me, I brought over kibbles from all the other maps I've been on. Hold up, look at this guy. That That is red and black. I'm 100% certain this is the Halloween colors in effect. But that is awesome. You actually look really cool. Alrighty, so I've been looking at the Fear Evolved uh, Wild Creature Colors list. Um, One of them is Jade. Now, if you don't know what jade is that is a very green green all right um i could make perry the platypus if i went and found a may wing like even if it's just a low level one and i bred just the colors in in which i've done this before um if you guys may know blossom my uh mantis i did that to her uh or I did that to her genetic line. Um, I basically went out. And while I was pairing up the mom and dad. Hold up. Let's see what your stamina is. 45. Nice. Perfect. So when you combine all their stats together. Say you throw in one or two creatures with colors you want. All right. Um, yeah. I might be doing that with this guy. Just because Jade and orange like actual orange is one of the colors that can spawn on wild creatures i mean we also got here here's all the co colors that we have options to right now uh from just the fear evolved i'm betting that there's more but this is like the one that are listed for it so i have dino dark gray dino light blue dino dark yellow dragon brass one light brown light gray dino light brown dark dino dark brown uh, Dragonfire, Vermilion, Actual Black, Midnight Blue, Medium Autumn, Dark Warm Gray, Orange, Dark Lavender, and Jade. So those are our color options. Now, all the ones I would be looking for are Jade and Orange. And I'm pretty sure if I looked hard enough...
just like at every May wing I came across, I might be able to find those colors. Um, but in terms of like actually getting, uh, the guys bred up for this and like put together, that's actually going to take a lot of the time is putting them together that way. Well, if we can untrack all the May wings that way now, so we can just head back to base. That actually took us an entire day to tame two May wings. I guess technically we tamed three, but then left one to get torn apart by Serratos and uh, Acro and Rexes. I don't know if it's died yet. I haven't seen any red bar pop up. But I think if you're far enough away, sometimes that doesn't pop up. Um, so, yeah. We'll figure that out here eventually. Let's go more health into you, Space Dolphin. Thank you. I, I don't know what that sound effect is, but it's the iconic dolphin, like, you know. Ooh, hit the wrong button. Um. Ow. Where did... How did you... Are you serious? The Astrodelphus swam basically into Crush's butt. <laughs> like, you were in there, my man. In. Okay. I wish that that would just cause you to stop moving and meet. Oh, wait, it does. Uh, so... <clears throat> now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get these guys all paired up so that way the first generation's put together. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go out, hopefully find the May Wings I need. If not, we might be SOL. Alrighty, guys. So, let me get closer to my mic. Oh, my God. So, yeah. You may notice someone here. We got ourselves our own personal May Wing now. And I have named them Agent P. And yeah, that is the colors on them. Oh my god, that's the best green I could possibly get. I did find the jade, but I only found the jade for one color region. The other ones that are all green are, I'm pretty sure, the greens that naturally come on them. So here, I'll, we'll look at them. So yeah, so that one there, the 85 at the very beginning, that's the jade. All right, that's the one I hunted for. Now, the jade did manage to come with, like, the actual black there in the second, or was it in the third spot, the 79? Um, I'm thinking that's the stripes. But then the ones that carried over from the parents, the original two, are the second slot there, that 100. That's one of the greens. It's like a, it, it's a weird color, but it looks kind of green. What just happened? Oh, game stuttered. And then I did also think... I think that 75 is the orange I was looking for. It might not be. It might just be a normal color that they can spawn with. And then the 77 and the 100 are leftovers from the month, was it the parents as well. So yeah. So I did manage to find two other May Wings that had the colors I needed. It took a lot of searching though. I think one of them was a level 15. I know that. And the other one I think was a 45. Yeah, I think it was a 45. So, I would like to now, hopefully... Ooh, these guys actually moves kind of quick. I was told that this is probably one of the best moving around the map guys. Like, I don't, I don't know why, but I, I'm moving pretty quick. Um, I might have to go look into it more. That might be what I have to do. I've got a bunch of striders around here at the lake as well. Oh my god, actually, like, we are moving remarkably fast. Honestly, there. Like, this right here? This looks like a journal entry from the shipboard database. Where? Huh. Could be an interesting read. Where? We just passed over something and... Oh, is this it? I see something. Oh yeah, I already got all the notes. I hit the... So... <clears throat> when I found out I was out of time, like completely, I just hit the command for all the Explorer notes. So... It was honestly just so that way I could skip these ones. I actually didn't go get the Extinction ones either. I skipped them as well. Towards the end of Extinction there, I, uh, 
I felt like I was kind of rushing it, but it was all just because that that's the way everything landed. And then once I saw like what day it came out on and like how much time I need for Genesis after I figured out that, I was like, all right, I need to do that. Skip the, you know, skip the Explorer notes. I know that we never really did videos on getting the Explorer notes either, but I like did a couple, I did a couple videos on getting Explorer notes. But I never really did videos on getting them. I mostly just went out on a, a dire wolf with Dez or Archie and just looked for Explorer notes. Pulled up the wiki, had the GPS all ready to go. But yeah, I think I'm a doc. Uh, doc. I'm going to leave Agent P sitting right here. He is a boy. Uh, I wish I could give him a hat. I do. I don't think I have any, though. I wish there was. But yeah. Anyways... I gotta go edit my video here for the Dreadnoughtosaurus. That guy came out here about, what, 6 o'clock? It's 11 now. Oh my god, he came out five hours ago and I recorded a video and still haven't edited it. I need to go do that. I completely spaced it off. I thought, oh, I'll just get the May Wings done real quick. I lost track of time. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Alrighty. So, yeah, that was it. That was our test flight with the May Wing. I know it wasn't really much, but... It's, I don't know how to control them that much. I, it's mostly a flyer for me, I think. So yeah. <laughs>